Hello, and welcome to Marriott International. As a new associate, I'm sure you're excited to learn more about your new company. Did you know that there are thousands of Marriott International properties all around the globe? Marriott's mission is to be the world's favorite travel company. As a global leader in the travel industry, we look to continuously expand our global presence and grow our brand portfolio to meet our every customer travel needs, create job opportunities for many around the world, and maximize our total revenue and profitability for owners and shareholders. And since we are talking about money, perhaps you are wondering how Marriott International runs as a business. How does Marriott International make money? Well, I'm here today to tell you all about it. You know that Marriott International has several different brands, but why so many? That's because our award-winning brands have been tailored to provide unique customer experiences and meet the needs and wants of our guests during their travels. Let's take a closer look. Our full service tier includes the luxury brands that are designed for the globally affluent traveler, the stylish lifestyle luxury brands that offer top-notch yet individualized service. And of course, there's the iconic signature brand with its flagship Marriott hotels, concierge, excellent restaurants, versatile meeting spaces, spas, our full-service brands have it all. But some travelers don't need large meeting space or special amenities. For them, one of our modern essentials brands would be a perfect fit. For a longer stay, travelers may need a kitchen or an on-site market, which they can find at our extended stay brands. Of course, once all of their work is done, some travelers may want to relax at a grand exotic resort and are welcomed by our destination entertainment brands or the resort properties of the Lifestyle Luxury and Marriott Signature brands. Each brand offers a unique guest experience for a specific traveler. And because multiple Marriott International brand hotels are often available within a single geographical area, we capture a greater share of total traveler spend which helps our hotels achieve higher revenue per available room than our competitors. So, greater brand variety leads to maximization of revenue. Here's another important point to note. Marriott International owns very few properties. Our revenue is driven from the terms within our agreement with the property owners. There are two key agreement types, management contracts, where we manage the properties for the owners, and franchise contracts, where we let property owners either manage the property themselves or have it managed by another management company, while still raising the Marriott International flag. Franchisee companies, such as Interstate and White Lodging, or third-party management companies, such as Inland, choose to partner with Marriott International because our brands command top room rates and are preferred by both travelers and lenders. And owners choose us to manage their properties because of our consistent service excellence and our increasingly competitive management rates, especially for large and complex hotels. Term-wise, initial management contracts typically run 20 to 30 years and franchise contracts about 15 to 25 years. The long terms make both types of contracts stable, predictable, and profitable. Wall Street, investors, and travelers love that. And here's a quick pie chart to illustrate our breakdown of managed and franchised properties globally. What are the rest? joint ventures, leased units, and even some fully owned Marriott International properties. So, where does the revenue come from? Let's take a closer look at the various types of fees. Managed properties are charged base fees as 3 to 7% of revenue, depending on what services are covered, and incentive fees as a slightly broader percentage of profit generally after owners get a certain return. And yes, this is an incentive because we collect the additional fees as bonus tied to profit. 
This incensed Marriott International to drive hotel profitability beyond top-line sales. The better the property performs financially, the more Marriott International earns. Franchised properties are mainly charged a franchise or royalty fee, generally as a percentage of room revenue. For some full-service brands, franchise fees are also charged as percentage of food and beverage revenue. Marriott International also collects a one-time application fee, which is a flat amount based on brand. That helps us cover the cost of evaluating the potential owner as a viable business partner. So, Marriott International collects revenue from base fees, incentive fees, and franchise fees. We subtract various general and administrative costs to get to our profit. In addition, the properties fund various above property services at a central or regional level across the U.S. and also the continents. These are costs incurred for programs and services such as national marketing, centralized reservations, human resources, email and insurance. Hotels are charged for these as a cost reimbursement based on their participation and usage. For example, as a percentage of sales, or cost per reservation, or the number of rooms, or a hotel's square footage. There's no markup, and so no profit to Marriott International on these programs. Fair, right? And as you are new to the business, you might wonder how your position is funded. Interesting thought. And the answer. Well, it depends on a lot of factors, but mainly on the type of job you do. Here are some examples to give you an idea. Associates working on e-commerce strategies are mostly funded by the reservations charge collected at Marriott.com. Associates who do global marketing are generally funded by national and international sales and marketing funds collected from hotels as a contractual percentage of their revenues. And if you're an IT associate supporting a service or system used by the hotels, such as email or the property management system, your position is funded by a direct charge to the hotels. As you can imagine, there are many other jobs at Marriott International that can be linked to many other revenue and cost streams. Your manager can give you specifics about your role. Let's see how the numbers add up. Last year, we had this many managed and franchised properties worldwide. And this is the revenue we generated from fees. After taking out the reimbursed above property costs and adding additional revenue from owned, leased, and joint venture properties, this was our total revenue and profit after taxes, of course. All right, enough about the details. Let's take a higher level look. From up here, we can see the big picture and notice some trends. Number one, we see our top three income streams, base fees, incentive fees, and franchise fees. Number two, we also see that base fees and franchise fees have been stable and consistent over the years. See the investors smiling about that? Incentive fees, however, have fluctuated widely. Why? Because incentive fees are based on profits exceeding certain thresholds, which typically shrink during an economic downturn. Number three, and we see a steady increase in the revenue from franchised properties, because our franchise contracts have shown phenomenal growth as they're hugely profitable for Marriott International, raking in about 90% profit on franchise fees. One reason our hotel owners like franchise contracts is that they can sign a franchise contract with Marriott International and have the flexibility to hire a third-party management company, offering a more competitive cost structure and shorter contract terms than Marriott International typically offers. This is especially true for select service hotels and non-urban locations. There's another factor too. Franchise properties are often owned by large professionally managed investors who also prefer to combine Marriott International's brand franchise 
with the most reasonably priced, often local, third-party management company. This gives investors flexibility to directly hire and, if needed, fire the management team without losing Marriott International's powerful brands. It's a value-added win-win for all. We're just about done, so grab a pen. Got one? And jot down some key takeaways. Remember, Marriott International is a brand company. We get revenue mostly from managed and franchised properties through fees and provide properties certain at cost services. Marriott International is a global leader in the hotel industry. We're continuously growing our brands and expanding our global presence as we explore new territories to meet our travelers' needs. So as you go about your new job, helping to drive guest, owner, and associate preference, generate revenue, reduce costs, or all of the above, remember you're helping support Marriott International's financial success. By the way, if I've sparked your interest in the Marriott International business model and you want to learn more, be sure to check out the more comprehensive How Marriott Makes Money course that is available through my learning. Enjoy the rest of your day.